So in this video we're going to be finishing up our possess mechanic. So now we're going to be able to actually possess them by shooting our skull out and I've uh, got some effects for it. Our player will change color to associate with the possessed enemy. This enemy doesn't have any abilities but there will definitely be some in the future that have abilities that the player will then be able to access. So let's get into it. Okay, we're going to start off in our player possessed mode and we can go our player is equal to preload player.tacn but then I'm just going to delete that pre part and the reason why in the last video uh, the preload wouldn't work and that's because since the player preloads uh, the player process mode then the player process mode would have to preload the player then that preloaded player then has to preload the player process mode which then has to preload the player again and it goes on forever so good old just has that as an error before it actually happens yeah so but if we load it when we need it then it that doesn't really happen so it's good so that's our solution and then we're gonna go for instance player which was to our player lowercase is equal to player dot instance i believe we can use this can do get parents dot add child player and see what happens when we do that. Well, it appears to work. So we'll do player dot global position to self dot global position in our clone. Uh, we're gonna make another variable. Uh, export bar enemy type is equal to red. Yeah. So then in here, uh, actually not player. We gotta make another variable as well. Of our possessed type is the basic is going to be um, void. It's going to be our first player's form. We are going to go into our player possessed mode again. So then player dot possessed type. is equal to uh, body dot what did I call it and sorry enemy type okay and I'm just going to go to our clone and increase our stun time to five seconds and I'm going to do plus to 2, 0, negative 0 0.5 just to make sure that we don't end up spawning in the floor would be good. Uh, I might need to make this higher though. How high would it need to be? Let's have a look at the player's collision. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, so I'm doing a six now. And just see what happens. Uh -huh. Yeah. Try that again. Okay, it seems to work pretty well. Yeah, actually, let me just test. So the player can still get bounce off of corpses. 
we should probably fix. We can just do self dot remove from group enemy. And we'll see how that works. Okay, let me just try this out quickly. And it works. Okay, we are going to change the color so then. No physics process. Let's also do um start we'll do possessed type uh and possessed type process. And we'll pass in delta because we might do some jumping stuff or whatever with it. that right under here and if possess type is to void then pass elif possess type is equal to we'll actually name it off of our enemies clone so I'm going to change that red to clone And we just have a look to play a body. We'll go play a body. Is that not what I named it? It's body sprite. Uh, body sprite dot self modulate is equal to that. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll figure out what the clones is. And yeah, let's check this out. So we got gray, looks fine. Uh, we possess them, and we're red. Yeah, so this is basically it. Uh, uh, with just a basic enemy like this, it's pretty simple, but like, um, from here on out, it's basically like, if you do, you can do like, uh, double jump check, and then you just like, check for if you're able to double jump, blah blah blah, under your different types of enemies. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool that we finally made it to possessing enemies even if we don't have any abilities because from here on out we get to start doing some more interesting stuff yeah, I want to see what happens if we go right above them yeah we can basically instantly change uh, I forgot about an effect as well so then we'll close this and we'll create a new sprite scene and name this possess and we're going to add a animation player to it and in our effects uh, I can add it here it's also a void particle I forgot about that as well uh, so many frames do we have we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 so now in our animation player we can do another default animation autoplay which exists to 0 0.08 and we'll put this under effects and we just key into frames and change the duration to 0.088 0 0.88 and then we're just going to add a call method function with q3 here and that's it for this 
So then in here we'll also do um, const zest effect. So you get the preload possess effect dot tscn. Then underneath the player we can go by uh, possess effect is equal to possess effect dot instance get parent dot add child possess effect possess effect dot global position is equal to we'll just copy paste this except for we we'll make it angle five uh, we also need the queue for you to clone uh, so the body dot q3 I believe that's all we'll need I might be wrong and let's see what happens here okay, let's try that again oh yeah I forgot to kill them uh, yeah, just testing a couple times. Okay. Uh, so now there's just one more effect we have to add in. Uh, I'm just going to add a timer to this and avoid particle create delay. And we'll set it to auto start and connect the timeout. When this happens, we're gonna stop it. So money void dot create delay dot stop. Now we need to create a new sprite scene. And we name this void particle. Add an animation player. that in and we got one two three four five six frames and we'll save it in effects then we'll go into our animation player new default animation autoplay uh so it's 2.05 i believe I don't know, I'll have to have a look at it in a second when it's done. Two point three for duration. I think that happens a little fast, so we'll change it to zero point one even. Now oh, we'll just delete these. Yeah, I might actually change this to 2.2 and change this down to 0 0.2 And we'll put in the cold a Q3 At the end and Yeah, we're gonna add a script to this one though um, Actually In here, what we're going to do is go into our transform and cure our position 0, 0, then we'll try negative 2, see how that works. Change this to negative 4. And yeah, we'll just have a look at this for now. I might need to adjust it. So then we'll do const void 
particle is equal to preload void particle fire void particle is equal to void particle dot instance get parent dot add child void particle void particle dot global position equal to self dot global position then uh yeah let's see how this happens not very well uh what is this set to one to auto start me wait it's because it's only one second that's Quite a while. Seems like it just gets deleted straight away though. Let me drag this one here, I don't know. delete this position yeah okay so we'll have to use some code for this but that's fine uh so yeah let's just make a script for it and so func process self dot global global position dot y minus equals 0 0.1 for now uh, we'll do draw it direction to 1 uh, funk ready randomize for Uh, we'll do negative the chance let's put the randy two and if negative the chance is equal to zero direction is equal to negative one self dot global position dot x uh, plus equals zero point zero five times I'll do it the y speed is zero point one minus equals speed uh, speed divided by the three point zero and then self dot rotation degrees plus equals uh, zero point one times direction. Okay, so let's check this out. Could use a more intense spin. I think this is pretty good. It seems to uh always be going right though. Okay. Times direction. I've had that. Uh, again, change this to four point zero. Change speed to zero point two. Uh, I'll 
one five. Pretty good, so we'll just decrease this. Point three, let's try for first. It's a little more off than enough. Maybe let's try this even lower. I don't know. I just, I'm just looking for something that feels right. Definitely not that. Uh, I guess zero point one. Yeah. So we'll try killing the enemy and possessing them. And we also need to flip the H based on our direction. Uh, so, uh, if self.rotation degrees... Okay, so after some messing around, I've decided that I want to change this so that uh, in our physics process, we'll do that, and then else money sprite dot flip h false. I'm gonna make it that this can also detect uh, the environments. Do we have our tile map in a group? We don't. We're gonna add it to the group of environment. So I'm in here and do lf body dot is in group environment then I believe should we just do a q3? Yeah we'll do a q3 for now. So if you don't hit a possessed enemy, then this happens. Actually, one last thing, uh, I just want to change the speed in this to like 600. I'll change it. 500 actually. I don't want it to be quite that fast. Oh. Okay, and then we'll also, um, or body dot is in group. Actually, I wanted to just not be able to collide with the enemy. Why is it colliding with them? Because I haven't set the layers properly. Okay. Let's see, yep, goes right through them. Okay. I think I'll probably make a power that you can unlock later that allows you to bounce off the environment once that way you can do some more angles and it might be kind of cool but yeah so we can possess our enemies now I think that's pretty cool yeah so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching in the next one I'm gonna be adding in health to the player so I hope you enjoyed watching be sure to like comment subscribe Helps motivate me and have a good day.